What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm super excited to be continuing my coverage of the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. We are not done yet. Today I'm coming with one of my most popular videos for the last few years. It is the top 9 tips to customize your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus and improve the overall experience of the device. So as usual, I will have a content list down below with an outline if you guys want to check it out and skip around the video. So let's get right into it. The very first thing that I'd recommend when customizing your device at a more advanced level is to go into settings, scroll down to advanced features on the Galaxy S10, and then find motions and gestures. So Samsung has lots of different motions and gestures that are very popular that they turn on by default or turn off by default. You might want to flip through there and see exactly what you're interested in using. One of the ones that I really like is Smart Stay, which is turned off by default, keeps the screen on while you're looking at it. It does drain a little more battery, but it's a nice thing to have on. Double Tap to Wake and Lift to Wake are both on by default. Those are features I really like as well, so you might want to decide if you want to keep them on. And then some features that people have forgotten about on Samsung phones, the palm swipe to capture and the swipe to call or send messages. Also very useful for people out there um, that like to use their device in a gesture-based way. Um, the other thing that you can change here is reducing animations. Uh, reducing animations will tone down the motion effects a little bit. Uh, this is something I showed you guys how to do in a little more aggressive way using developer options before, but it is certainly something you can also tweak a little bit uh, within the advanced feature settings. The next thing I want to talk about is an external customization, but it's very important, and that is to get a case or bumper for your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. And that brings me to the case that I'm using, which is from the sponsor of today's video, and that is Rhino Shield. So I talked about some of their cases uh, in a previous video, in a roundup video, but I wanted to go into some more depth. They have both the solid suit and the crash guard bumper. The crash guard bumper, as I showed you guys in the previous video, it has a very, very slim sort of profile. The solid suit is a little more substantial of a case. You see here I've got the carbon fiber. The best thing about both of these is they both have very durable material. See here, you've got a raised up lip on the bumper as well as the case. A snug fit, very lightweight. Uh, and they also have the shock spread technology, which absorbs over 11 feet of impact. So 11 feet, you can drop this and basically keep your phone protected perfectly. Now, they're going to have a lot of other color options and things like that coming out. Right now, I've got the carbon fiber, and I also have the uh, plain matte black here, as you guys can see in the solid suit. A very thin case while still getting a lot of protection, which is why I love it. The buttons are very responsive. Uh, wireless charging works perfectly with this case. Uh, and all of the cutouts are on point as well. If you're interested in something a little less bulky, even though this is very slim, if you're looking for something a little less bulky even than this, you can go ahead and grab the crash guard bumper, which is also really easy to install, and you still get 11 feet of drop protection. It'll also allow you to see the back of your phone here. You see I got the prism white looking very nice. Um, the crash guard, very popular, and like I said, it will come in the other colors. So if you guys are interested, I do have a promo code and a link in the description. You can buy through Rhino Shield and support our channel as well. I will drop all of that in the description as well as the pinned comment if you want to check out the crash guard bumper and the solid suit, which I am rocking on my Galaxy S10 and S10+. Plus. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is replacing stock apps on your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. Now, Samsung has a lot of stock apps that come on the phone, which are nice, but some of them are not quite as functional or they're not as integrated into the Google ecosystem as I would like. For instance, one of the apps I always replace is the Calendar app. I always replace it with Google Calendar, for instance. Um, but there are a couple of other apps, and that's one of the great things about Android that allows you to replace stock apps with better third-party apps. I like to use Talon for Twitter. It's a customizable Twitter client, has a dark mode, uh, lots of accent customizations, gesture customizations. Uh, my favorite Twitter client now on Android uh, since Flamingo died. Um, I still use that a little bit, but doesn't get any more updates. And I really like to use that instead of the stock Twitter client. Um, one other app that I always like to replace and recommend is Solid Explorer. Solid Explorer is a file explorer for your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. Samsung's Files Explorer, I think, is not as in-depth. This will organize everything, and if you're someone who likes to customize your device even further, uh, you do anything with rooting or ROMing later on. You can also connect your cloud services like Dropbox and Drive, and it keeps all of that information sort of integrated for you. I highly recommend getting Solid Explorer or a third-party file explorer to check it out. Uh, lots of other great app recommendations. I will make a single video doing an app roundup later on, but I will drop those three recommendations that I have, the calendar app, 
uh, the File Explorer, and Talon Pro, which is the new Twitter client I have. You guys can see the icon for it right there. The next piece of customization is something that I've talked about in a previous video, but it's also worth mentioning because it's actually the way that I've been able to achieve such a clean lock screen, which a lot of people ask me, sort of how do you get such a clean looking lock screen? You notice that I don't have any of the icons really up there, just the Wi-Fi, but you can actually get rid of that as well. And I did that by using GoodLock 2019, which is Samsung's own customization app, which allows you to modify things like the lock screen using Lockstar. You can see I have my own custom theme for the lock screen right there. You can also modify the quick settings using Quickstar. You guys can actually see if I go down here, I've got customized colors and everything like that rocking the blue and the yellow to match my wallpaper, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, GoodLock has a number of features, which I went over sort of in full in a previous video. I'll drop the link below in the description, but you can basically customize your task changer, uh, which you guys can see here. I've got sort of the carousel looking task changer, customize your clock face, um, navigation, all that kind of cool stuff. So I highly recommend GoodLock, especially to get something like this on the lock screen. See the nice clock widget I have right there, which a lot of people always ask me about, catches their eye. And you get a really, really clean looking lock screen, which is what I like um, about using GoodLock 2019. The next thing is to get a cool custom wallpaper. Now, even though I've talked about these wallpapers in the past, which you guys can see I have here with Groot, I've got my little camera cut out there being hidden. It's basically being replaced as one of Groot's eyes, which I think is really cool. Um, all of these wallpapers have sprung up for the S10, the S10 Plus. I actually made a video out about it very early on in the Galaxy S10 launch cycle. Since then, it just exploded. There's actually a really cool app now called Heidi Hole, um, which was made by Chainfire over at XDA. Uh, this basically imports all of the cool Galaxy S10, S10 Plus wallpapers from the subreddit uh, dedicated to designing these. And there's just a lot of really cool ones. So you can literally scroll through here forever. Just gotta make sure that you're getting one for your proper phone because the S10 and the S10 Plus are mixed in together. So make sure you actually preview it and it's working for the phone that you have. Um, you can see here I'm using the Groot one, which is probably one of my favorites. Um, it does a really nice job of hiding it and also like the color profile, which you can then use later on with a custom launcher to match your colors and your icons, which we'll talk about in just a second. My next suggestion is to get a custom keyboard. Now, I know some people like Samsung's keyboard, but I've personally found the predictive text to not be that great and also um, searching and things like that directly. I highly recommend Gboard. Uh, there are also a couple of other out there that people like, but Gboard is definitely my favorite. It is the Google keyboard. They now have tons of customizable themes as well um, and lots of very good properties in terms of text correction, replacement, and also search built directly into the keyboard. Uh, so I'll show you guys really quick what mine looks like. I've got the blue gradient theme, which I think looks really nice. You've also got Google search built right in, uh, and Google is really probably the best at predicting text, things like that in my personal opinion. Now, of course, if you like the Samsung keyboard, you can keep it and customize that as well, but I just think there's more customization, both in terms of functionality and style within the Google keyboard. Now we're up to the most substantial change that you can make on an Android phone, in my personal opinion, um, in the easiest way, and that is by getting a custom launcher. So my personal favorite custom launcher is Action Launcher. I'll show you guys really quick what it looks like in the Play Store. Action Launcher is right there, called Pixel Edition now. Basically allows you to transform your Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus into a pixel looking device on the home screen. And a launcher basically sort of replaces the UI that your phone uses, at least for the home screen, switching of apps and things like that, even some gesture functionality. Now, one thing I really like about Action Launcher is that Action Launcher has sort of customizable themes that are really easy to implement. And what I mean by that is that you can sort of change the colors uh, and things that work out and they can both be matched to your wallpaper. So you notice here, the color in my wallpaper, the light blue sort of reflection on Groot, that is matched to the color of the Google search bar there. And also if I slide out my sort of quick settings here from Action Launcher, it's also matched to sort of the color of Groot there in the background. So is my app drawer as well. So Action Settings actually allow you to customize all that stuff without putting in additional work. Now, of course, the other two things that you can do with a custom launcher that people always want to do is get custom icon packs. And I will show you guys the icon pack that I'm using right now. If you go into appearance, the icon pack I'm using is called Simplicon. Simplicon is a very, very nice icon pack 
It's one that I've had for a while. It is a paid pack. I forgot the price, uh, 99 cents or $1.99. But these are really some of the best looking icons that I've seen. If you look at the home screen, right, you can see all the various icons. This particular icon pack has pretty much every icon I use themed, and the developer is also very responsive, so if you want an icon themed, you can send them an email from within the app, and they'll usually get it themed within a few weeks. Now the final thing I recommend you do with a launcher, before you go ahead and customize it even more, right, you're going to want to play around, but the thing I really recommend you do is go into the settings, and go into the app drawer, and hide any of the apps that you're not using. So it's really important because especially if you replace some of the stock apps, which I talked about earlier, like the calendar, um, things like that, like your weather app, you're going to have duplicate apps. So I go in there and hide them. I hide the Samsung calendar, as you guys can see right there. Uh, some stock apps from T-Mobile I don't use. I don't use the Samsung internet browser. I use Chrome just because of all my, everything is synced there. Uh, I hide the Samsung files app because I'm using Solid Explorer, etc. So you might not want to hide a lot of things. I'm hiding seven apps. But that's still enough where you don't want to clutter up your uh, app drawer if you don't have to. Now obviously there's a lot of other really cool things about the launcher. Action Launcher is my personal favorite. Nova Launcher is another good one. I know a lot of people will chime in with that. Um, but a lot of things you can customize here including the gestures. Another thing that's great is it has the swipe down from anywhere to get your notifications by default. Yes, I know you can do that within Samsung One UI now. But that's been the default in Action Launcher for a very long time. It also has covers, which allow you to swipe up on an icon and then see what's in the folder. So instead of having a folder there, it just displays the top icon. That's one of my favorite features. It also has the ability to swipe down on an icon and get your widgets. So you can swipe down or swipe up on an icon and create a widget just like that right there. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my overview of customization on the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so you can make future videos like this. If you guys have any questions, I'll definitely be happy to answer those in the comments. You can also find all the links, things covered in the video, in the description as well. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.